I don't even trip on the concept of the home. I'm home, uh, you know, like where I, I go, I'm gonna make it home. I'm Dia, I'm a skater, I'm a hustler. <laughs> like Lucy, <laughs> I'm everywhere. <laughs> When I was in like third grade, I came home from school and my mom put me to the table and she asked, so do you want to live with your dad or do you want to live with me? I said, what? <laughs> He's like, we're getting a divorce. They decided I stay with my dad and my mom moved away. I felt like I was abandoned by my mom when she moved, but she wasn't, you know, she, she just needed to figure out her life. I took the best out of it because my parents, when they were together, they were fighting constantly. After they got divorced, they always tell me, you know, actually the divorce is be better for both of us. I just had enough. I just felt like trapped in China for some reason. I just wanted to see what's out there, what's outside of China, you know, like what are people doing outside of this country. So I decided like to study abroad and then I was like, well, if I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go far away. <laughs> I started skating when I first moved to the U.S. Some of my friends was riding a skateboard outside the dorm, and then I was like, let me try it. And I hopped on, I was like, this thing is fun, and I'm good at it. <laughs> it's, it's like a zen for me, in a way. You know, I'm plugging my earphones. I'm just with myself in my zone. I don't have to talk to nobody, don't have to think about nothing. Just being myself. It's the challenge to overcome the fear that it's the reward that, you know, like when you land this trick, you know, damn, I did it. And now I'm not gonna scared of this thing anymore. I'm about to do this, I'm about to commit. If I don't commit, I know I'm gonna eat shit, like right now, you know what I'm saying? It's that part I love about it. Skateboarding is hard. I get hurt, I broke my foot, and then like ankle just constantly springs. Like today, it just ran just now. But I learned to deal with like skating with injuries because that's every skater. One of the toughest experiences I've had. One of my really close friends committed suicide. And that was like a big impact on me. Like he was the funniest guy, the best guy, best spirit. And, but he was dealing depression. He has so many friends, but somehow he don't think he's worth it. And I just would want to say, I guess life always gets better. You just gotta believe. Like I've, you know, been through tough times. You just gotta believe. Same thing with skating. If you don't get it today, you'll get that trick tomorrow. So same as life. If you don't feel good today, you go to sleep. You know, wake up tomorrow, you'll feel different. Live it, bad or good. Live it till you get there. Skateboarding definitely taught me major lessons with like dealing with life, being resilient, and a lot of other things, you know. I think that's the spirit that kind of helped me get through other things in life too. Home is me, and home is where I'm at. Whoever is with me is part of the home. That's it. <laughs>